Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to defrag your computer. But before that, let me explain to you what is defragmentation. So as you can see here, this is an example of a hard disk drive. So if you're going to pull off the cover here, so this is inside the hard disk drive. So every time you turn on your computer, this disk will keep on spinning. Okay? So every time we install programs, data files okay here these are data files that represents as data files in different colors our examples uh, represents data files so data files are stored in different locations it means that this um, color red portion you can also see here red portions here here and there so it means that they are the same data file Okay, so you notice the files are scattered and then the white portions are called free space. Okay? So if we, if we install another program, the computer may not be able to find enough free space in one location on the hard drive to accommodate the program. That's because the free space is scattered in a different location. So it means that the computer will scatter the program's data files in smaller chunks all over the hard drive in a different locations. So if so, this is known as fragmentation. So if you have fragmented hard drive, the computer will run slow because the computer has to work hard to read and write data because the data is scattered all over the hard drive. So you need to defrag your computer. So, doing defragmentation, it gathers all of the related files that are scattered on the hard drive and puts them together so that they are on the same location on the hard drive. So, as you notice, the before picture and the after picture. So, it also does its best to put the free space here, the free space together in one big chunk. So after the defrag is complete, the computer will run faster and more efficient. Okay. So it also the defragging your computer will uh, speed up the performance of your computer. So that's the reason of uh, why we need to defrag your computer. Okay. So here, this is a uh, a type of um, a type of drive that is a hard disk drive so it means if you're using hard disk drive it means that you're using a disk okay there is a spinning disk every time you turn on your computer and this type of drive is a solid state drive so it does not require defrag uh, defragmentation or do not require doing a defrag if you're using a solid state drive because solid state drive or SSD have no moving parts so the computer can just pick and choose whatever file it needs to uh, to store okay regardless of which memory chip the file is located on so so the computer can just choose any chip of this every time you install program unlike in the hard disk drive so every time you s install it it will look like this okay here but it after installing, or you could do it weekly or monthly, doing the defragmentation, then your hard disk drive will be organized, okay, in two categories or in the same location, okay, there. So this time I'm going to teach you how to defrag your computer. So there, let's go to the desktop. You type defrag. And then you click defragment and optimize drives. And then here, since our drive C is a solid state drive, so as I said earlier, we don't need to defrag it because uh, it's already organized. So you have to select the data D or drive D, and then you click optimize. Then we just need to wait a little while for to process it. Okay. There, so it's completed already. So, there. So, if you, that's the uh, manually how to defrag your computer, but if you want to, if you want your computer um, 
to do it automatically you just you need to schedule it so just click change settings you could just change or choose the frequency if you want daily weekly or monthly okay, there so and then after that you just click close then you're done so thank you for watching